Brandy and Heather, you've got 10 minutes and video is being recorded. Perfect. Thank you. Hi, Brandy. Hi, Heather. How are you both doing today? Good. Love your accent. Hi, oh, Ollie. Are you, you. Where are you? you? I'm in the UK. Oh, great. Wow. Yeah. Eight, to, eight o'clock here, I think, roughly half eight. So, yeah. Okay. You tired? <laughs> Not really. Not re- I'm, u- I'm used to late nights, so it's not, okay. not too bad for me. But but thank. Anyway, enough about me. It's about you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I watched the movie and I I really had a blast. It really got me into the Christmas spirit. I mean, no better. It is. Some people may think it's a little early, but I don't. I, I'll celebrate <laughs> Christmas as early as I want. <laughs> My first question was, uh, what was it about the script that brought you that made you both want to jump into the roles? Well, I absolutely love the script as a whole, as a movie, just what it was about, um, family, reconnection with friends, and, you know, spending the holidays with people that you love. And then I absolutely love my character. She's bubbly, you know, positive outlook on life, and just tries to find the good in everything. Yeah, I related to the story in that um, I don't really like Christmas. And I'm kind of a Scrooge, a Grinchy Scrooge. And um, I find Christmas annoying. And, you know, I can relate to my character sort of like comparing herself with other people and being hard on herself. Sadly, I can relate to that. Um, Definitely, I always aspire to have a more positive attitude like Brandy's character, but I'm not always 100% successful with that. And I love the journey that she goes on and the end is sort of... um, you know, let go of her kind of, you know, negativity to really embrace like all the good things in her life. Yeah, absolutely. Like Heather, I totally agree with you. Sometimes it's hard staying so positive all all the time. At least I struggle with it. Um, My next question is at the start of the film, um, Jackie's writing a newsletter to all the the earth dwellers, you know, showcasing (laughs) the love she has for her family and how proud she is for the life she has built. And I was curious, what are the proudest moments for you two uh, within the film industry and what movie you are perhaps most proud of? Oh, um, Heather, you want to go first? Um, okay, well, I'll say that I think I've been lucky to work on a lot of great things. And to be honest, just having a career that spanned my whole entire life as like a teenager till now, I mean, I am proud of being in Boogie Nights. And I, I got to work with so many cool people like Steve Martin and just, just you know, starting to direct. And, you know, I feel like I I got, I've, I've been able to meet so many amazing people like Brandy. I, I'm just so grateful I get to keep working doing this dream job that I wanted to do since I was like six or seven years old. Mm-hmm. I would say the same thing. I've been at it for a while and to be able to work with some amazing people and learn so many great things has been very positive for me. I loved working on Best Christmas Ever. Mary Lambert was amazing. Heather, you're amazing. So I'm just happy that I've I've gotten a chance to work with some really, really great people and um, do so many great things in life. Yeah, absolutely. Both amazing answers. Uh, Best Christmas Ever is the first Christmas movie you've both starred in. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. How how is that? Brandy hasn't been more. Because you are the Christmas spirit, but yes, no. I'm <laughs> even even talking to you now, I just feel the positivity and, and the, 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 the festive spirit that you, you seem to, to overwhelm people with. You can feel your mood just Thank rising, you. right? Thank it's like you. I know, it's exactly. You're great too, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Brandy has like a kind of energy that enters the room. You're like, oh my god, something is happening. It's good, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's what made your character in the film so, so fantastic. It just felt authentically you. Um, Thank you so anyway, much. How, how did it feel shooting a Christmas movie compared to filming, I don't know, other films in different genres? Um, well, I'm not really the, the, the movie star girl. I'm more of a TV girl. Um, but Christmas was, it was just different. It just had a different vibe to it. It was the fake snow. It was the, you know, for me, recording a holiday album in the middle of the summer. It was just, it was just, it just felt a little bit different. (laughs) I felt like they were always saying like, we need more Christmas decorations. Like there would be like so many Christmas decorations and then they'd be like, we need more. No, we need more. (laughs) So it was like every single shot was like, how many Christmas decorations can we fit into this shot? Yes, and how much fake snow do we need? <laughs> when did you film this movie? Was it earlier in the year, like summertime? Or was it was it at, 2022. 
it was like March, March, April. So it was kind of the end of winter where it was the, the snow was there, but it was starting to melt. So we had to create fake snow, which was kind of disgusting, mm-hmm. um, but it was still very cold. I mean, I remember freezing, freezing my butt off. Yeah, me too. I bet. I mean, I bet it filming it in March and April at Christmas, having all the Christmas decorations. I bet it threw your year sort of out of order. Like it just felt completely disorientated your whole year. <laughs> A little bit for me because I'm a Christmas girl. So yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but it was so magical. It, yeah. I mean, the decorations were so over the top amazing. Like when you drive into Brandy's house, there's like trees with all these crazy lights. I mean, to have yes. that amount of Christmas decorations, like not that many people could ever really celebrate Christmas on that kind of a huge level that your character does. Yeah, huge. She put me to shame, I mean, that- man. I love Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> The biggest thing about the film or the main theme about the film is is friendship. And I was curious at what point you two clicked. Was it immediately? Did you two form a bond straight away or did it take some time? It was immediate. I mean, I just absolutely love your spirit and just how positive you are and how you came in with all these compliments towards me. And I just, just appreciate working with someone that lovely because everybody doesn't give you that give you great energy everybody doesn't have that so well I feel the same about about you I feel like you brought so like you give your whole heart you don't just show up like oh it's another job you know I feel like you really give your whole soul and spirit and everything to the movie and I really you know felt that and and I love that you know there's like romantic comedies about a woman falling in love with a man but I love that it's a friendship story because in my life my friends have been so important to me so like a love Mm -hmm. story about friends that maybe they they fell apart and then they came back together I think friendship is so important and I love that it celebrates female friendship me too. Absolutely. I mean, that was one of my favorite aspects to the film, how it wasn't just a casual rom-com and it celebrated friendship. Not not a lot of Christmas uh, movies do uh, to that degree. Mm-hmm. I was curious what were some of your favorite scenes to shoot together were? Oh, we had so many great scenes. We were just talking about the balloon scene, just how much time we spent in there together and, you know, a lot of laughs and a lot of great moments in there. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, Brandy's a really good actress and she's got some surprising moments in the movie where she really has to delve deep. And I just was, you know, really impressed by how much you gave, you know, not only in your positivity, but in all your different emotions throughout the movie as we we learn more about your character. Thank you. And I love your facial expressions, like especially <laughs> the funny ones. The funny ones are just the best. No, I love the funny. The funny moments are like the most fun. I mean, of course, it was fun, you know, just having Matt and Jason around just doing silly things and like mm-hmm. all of us reacting. And, you know, when Brandy's like, it's going to be the best Christmas ever. And I'm just like, ah, you know, like that was a funny <laughs> moment because she's so happy. And I'm like, no, I don't want to do this. You know, <laughs> that was funny. It sounds like you both had a fantastic time on the film, I must say. I must say. We um, did. Because Best Christmas Ever is a Christmas movie, I was curious as what are some of your favourite Christmas movies that you watch every year without a doubt? Oh, my God. I watch Home Alone so much. You have, you have to. It, it, every yeah. year. <laughs> and I sometimes like I wonder- catch myself watching it without it being Christmas. <laughs> That's funny. So funny. Yes, I love Home Alone. I mean, I I like, well, I kind of like Charlie Brown Christmas. I mean, I don't know why it has like association with childhood and, you know, It's a Wonderful Life. And there were some really great claymation animated movies that I watched as a kid that I have a super nostalgic feeling toward. Yeah, I mean, amazing answers. Like like I said, I watch both of them uh, all year (laughs) round as well. Maybe some. Sounds not even a Christmas time. Um, yeah. My final question is is for you, Brandy. Um, okay. You're set to return as Cinderella in a Descendants sequel coming coming soon. I know. And I was curious how you felt slipping back into the glass slippers, so to speak. How was it for you? Very blessed. Just didn't know that that would happen in 2022. You know, you do something as a kid, you don't know that it you know, will come full circle when you are older. And and that's exactly what it did for me. And I got a chance to reconnect with the prince that that also was in Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella. So it was really a great experience. Absolutely. It's been an absolute yeah. pleasure talking to you both. Thank you for pleasure. taking the time to talk to me. I've had an absolute blast and it's been a pleasure meeting you both. Have an amazing you rest too, of your day. Ali. And you happy so holidays. Much,